my life hasn't been my life hasn't been life in <laughs> like I've been I'm tired of making lemonade y'all I'm tired of making lemonade just to, to say the very least I am tired of making lemonade life has been throwing a lot of lemons at me Hola y bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube o oh, how do you say welcome back in Spanish? Bienvenidos para atrás. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, oh, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Gotti, and we're doing another video. Today we're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me video. I'm actually getting ready to go meet up with my friend. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go meet up with my friend. She is, uh, I don't know what's the title. What would be the proper title to to label her, right? Like, I guess she's a social media consultant and uh, she's going to consult me. I'm actually working with her. So she's going to help me with my social media and stuff like that. Um, you know, I am, I've been on YouTube for a year and I've been what I believe pretty consistent. However, I could do better. Like, it's not as consistent as I would want it to be. Like, there are months where I can't really, like, record because I have... Life just happens, you know? I'm not going to even look for excuses, but life happens. And sometimes I just... I could either not be in the mood or I'm literally busy with a whole bunch of stuff to do that I don't have time to record. And so, like, when it comes to YouTube... And she's not consulting me on YouTube, by the way, but just to put it out there. When it comes to YouTube, it's, it's really hard because it's really time-consuming. The video length is way longer. All the editing. Editing takes forever to do at least in my end i don't know about any other youtuber but yeah she's going to be consulting me about what i could do to improve and because you guys know i am very new to this even though like i said i've been doing this for a whole entire year now um i'm still i have a small community and i'm trying to get that to grow you know so if she can hand me any gems to like help me prosper that then so be it and um that's the video i don't even know what we're going to be chit chatting about let me hold on let me think let me think i'm just gonna do a, a regular 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 look like i don't really be doing all that crazy instagram makeup artist makeup i don't i'm not into that okay so in this video i actually i just it just came to my mind because um this is something that i've been literally dealing with constantly for the past couple of months i don't know i just been to be truthfully honest i just been really like angry like i'm my life hasn't been my life hasn't been life in <laughs> like i've been i'm tired of making lemonade y'all I'm tired of making lemonade just to, to say the very least I am tired of making lemonade life has been throwing a lot of lemons at me and um, I've been tested a lot I feel like the universe is definitely testing me right now and I'm not playing my cards right but um yeah I'm spiritual not religious just spiritual so I feel like the universe is testing me and I'm like failing the test right now bruh like I really am I have been not anymore because I have a a spiritual awakening now right I'm like self-aware of the things that is going on and I'm able to have self-control now but before it's like I wasn't having a lot of self-control which if somebody makes me upset I will react without like having to think like I will get so much energy so much negative energy to people who are obviously their intentions is to piss me off and so I'm like okay they win because now they managed to do what they wanted to do which was piss me off and so I'm like, I had to literally sit down and think to myself like, hey, Karina, I had to talk to myself and be like, you really are giving too much energy to people that don't even need that energy. First of all, why why are we entertaining negativity? We are not about that life. No, we, we gave that up years and years ago. So, but the thing about that is that I don't like is that like people would notice that you... When you're in the calm, like if you're a calm person, people will notice that and they will really try to piss you off just to get a reaction out of you, right? Because some people, most people believe that you don't got a savage bone in you because you're always so calm. And I'm one, I am one that I've always pretty much for the most part, no, not really always. 
I had to learn. I feel like the, the new version of myself has always been this way. Whereas like people would really like try to get me to be angry and I would not entertain it because I refuse, right? Like why are we angry? Just because you're living a miserable lifestyle doesn't mean you have to rub that energy on me. And even if you try to rub that energy on me, doesn't mean I have to entertain it. I'm not obligated to deal with that. I'd rather walk away. But some people, and depending on the day, right, the mood, because I am a woman and I do have hormones. And sometimes it just gets a little bit imbalanced, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, like... Just sometimes you're human. You're going to have errors. You're going to mess up. And you just live and you learn. That's how I like to see it. And I find myself that lately I've been like really, really defensive. And people have been telling me this for quite some time too. But the thing is people don't like to take accountability. And that's what I have an issue with. I have a huge issue with that. Because I like to hold myself accountable for my errors. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow. But... I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm never the issue. I know that I always have to play a part. Whomever I'm discussing with, both parties play a part. It's not one-sided, it's never one-sided. So I do take accountability for my actions. However, like I said, I don't like for people to think that it's okay to only blame me without blaming yourself. A lot of people have been doing that. Like whenever I have a misunderstanding, or like a argument, if you will. I don't really argue. But whenever I encounter a misunderstanding, people always feel the need to be like, well, you, you the issue. You did this, that, and the third. You didn't have to behave that way. I'd be like, okay, maybe I didn't have to behave that way. But you didn't have to say what you said. If, I, if you would have never said what you said, I would have never said anything else. Like, I'm so big on watch how you handle me. Like, that is my... That is my quote, that is my saying. I always tell everybody, watch how you handle me because how you handle me is how I'm going. I'm a reciprocator. And we as humans, usually we all are reciprocators. So how you handle me is how I'm gonna how I'm handle you. If you don't like how I'm handling you, then that means you need to do something about it. You need to um, come correct. Talk to me with respect. I'm big on respect, especially if you're somebody that I don't really talk to. Like we're not friends, we're acquaintances. Why you feel comfortable to talk to me any kind of way? Like, whoa, I don't like that. People get too comfortable real quick. I'm not one to get, for you to get comfortable with. First of all, one thing about me, I don't open up to everybody. It takes a while to even open up to somebody. Like, it's, it's levels to this shit. <laughs> it really is. And I don't mean in no cocky way. It's just like my experience, my experiences have led me to be this way. I wasn't always this way. I swear to God I wasn't. But this is how I am. And I need people to understand that for every action, there's a reaction. It's really that simple. If you think I'm rude and mean, that you need to literally ask yourself what you said or what did you do before you can even say anything about my persona because I'm really not mean. I'm very outspoken, yes. I'm not mean, I'm not rude, I'm just outspoken. And I speak the truth. The truth hurts. <laughs> if you made an error, I'ma tell you like, nah sis, you screwed up. Like take that out. And this is why I only have but like three friends because people don't like for you to tell them the truth. They come and vent to you about situations and ask you for your opinion and then when you don't tell them what they wanna hear, they have an issue with it and now you're not friends. Miss me with the ball. But um, one thing I'm not gonna do is lie to you and have you feel like you're not, the, you're not wrong. For what you do because we ain't little kids and i'm sure you already knew you don't need my confirmation to tell you that you messed up you already knew that oh no i messed up my eyebrow i've been having to take accountability of my actions i have been entertaining a lot of negativity lately and that's something that i'm not fond of doing so i had to sit back and really analyze and reevaluate what I was spending, what I chose to spend my time on. Because I'm like, why is it like this? Why is life like this right now? You know, it's so easy to be like, oh my God, my life is so horrible, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, 
everything in life is a choice you choose to deal with what you deal with you choose to entertain what you choose to entertain so yeah i noticed that i was indulging myself a lot around a lot of negative people and they were get, rubbing that negative energy on me so i had to really sit there and reevaluate like hey okay this person really means a lot to me right they're my friend but they don't have they don't have um my best interests in heart you know unfortunately you're gonna you're gonna come across people like that they don't have the best interest in heart where it's like you're gonna have fallouts and just because you have a fallout doesn't mean that you yeah, don't have to be friends but you just need to know how to move with them and honestly i'm not fond of like adjusting myself for you i'm gonna be myself no matter who you are like that's just how i am so when it comes to me it's like i have to pick whether i want you around or not because and what i mean by that is like we, we don't have to have beef but it's like, if I have to watch what I have to say or do around you, I don't want to be around you. Like, I can't be myself. And I don't know how to be anything else but myself. So, when it comes to that, that's why I'm like, I, I don't really be caring to let, to fix friendships. Because once I feel that way about anybody, I'm sorry, but that's, that's a dead end right there. Like, I'm not going to entertain this no longer. Moral of the story is, life has been really testing me. And I noticed that I was like really entertaining negativity a lot where it's that I was like getting into it with people and that's not something that I do. The last time I did that, I was in high school. Mind you, I'm pushing 30. Next year, I will be 30 years old. So like, what are we doing, sis? Like, if you don't like me, cool. Don't like me. We don't have to sit here and do this stupid back and forth stuff, though. We don't have to be disrespectful to one another because we don't like each other. If you don't like me that's personal that's that's a that's a you problem not not a me problem could be around somebody i don't like i don't have to talk to them i don't have to look at them i don't have to disrespect them i don't have to treat them any kind of way that's what i'm saying like if you don't like me that's cool don't like me but don't be sitting here like giving me that bad energy just because you don't like me like pretend i'm non-existent like people would just devote so much time to stupidity that it pisses me the hell off and I don't have I don't have time. Oh, my battery's dying. Oh, that's booty. I had to go wet my my beauty blender. Oh, this is booty, yo. I need to buy another freaking battery because when these things happen, I need to have a backup plan. But um, let me try to hurry up through this because my battery's dying. Yeah, people really sit there and give out so much energy on negativity i'm on some i'm not entertaining negativity no more bruh i'm really not the energy that i'm gonna give off to negativity i rather invest it somewhere else learning how to better myself or how to literally make money because i love money so yeah like i was entertaining a lot of a lot of negativity and it's like i was literally making myself miserable and i'm like bruh I know life hasn't been fair to me for quite some time, but I've never been this miserable. I, I don't remember being this, I was like, I don't remember being this miserable ever. Like, why am I allowing people to get me to this point? So, yeah, I just have to think about it and be like, well, let me work on that. Okay, sorry about that. My battery died. Um, it might die again. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. <laughs> so let's hurry up um yeah so what was i saying sorry about i had to sit with myself and really like reevaluate myself because i'm like i was entertaining a lot of negativity and a lot of that has to do with the fact that i am very misunderstood and i'm sure i don't like to really generalize things by zodiac signs i'm sure that every gemini can actually relate at least most of us can we're like really misunderstood creatures like people i don't know like first of all i'm not one to talk to people like they're little kids so my tone i've already been told i do have a tone when i speak and people usually do take that the wrong way when i speak because i speak so bluntly and i have a tone as well so not only is my tone already an issue but also the fact that i speak so bluntly and people like to be babied all the damn time 
I'm not rude, but I'm not gonna baby you either. Cause that kind of rubs people the wrong way, and I'm, I don't be meaning any harm when I say things, but it's just that the fact that you know we're grown. I feel like I should be able to talk to you, and you shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't have to feel some type of way. You have to really know me to know that I don't mean any harm. And that's just how I talk. Like, I get into it with my family all the time because of this, too. And now, well, I used to. Because they kind of already know that that's just how I talk. And I be trying to work on it. Honestly, I do. Because I don't like for people to think that I'm being rude or that I'm mean. But at the same time, I'm not going to small myself up for you. Like, I'm not going to make myself small just to, like, I'm not going to adjust myself just so that you could be satisfied. Because now I'm not satisfied. No one lives in this world to satisfy anyone else, you know? Like, we should just be able to have proper communication and not take things so personal. But not lightly either. So, actually, I want to get myself a tattoo down my back. This has misunderstood. And I am. I can't wait till I do it because then I'm gonna come and refer to this video because y'all, I am really a misunderstood creature. <laughs> I'm not a creature. Yes, I am. But still, I'm a very misunderstood person and it really upsets me because I be having good intentions but people just don't understand the way how I talk. And I don't know, I feel like it has to do a lot with the background where, I'm, where I come from, not literally where I, like my parents. I am my father's child though, my dad talks the same way I've been told this so many times but in general I feel like growing up where I where you know where I grew up at being raised in the Bronx New York everyone knows that New Yorkers that's how that's how we talk like we don't be angry that's just how we talk so I'm trying to break out of that honestly but it's just like it's gonna take a while because that's all I know. This is how I've been all my life. Is it working out for me? Not really. Sometimes it does. Most times it does. Most. But it is something I am willing to work on. One of the story here is that I had to give myself up. I had to like switch my mindset. I was um, really entertaining so much stuff that I ain't had no business entertaining. It is not my job to stoop myself to that level just because this is what you have in your agenda it's not on my agenda to be negative i don't wake up and be like oh i'm so angry everyone's gonna be angry with me like no even if i'm angry honestly when i'm angry it's when i'm quiet the most i really don't want to talk when i'm angry or when i'm not you know i don't have to be angry but if i'm not in a good mood per se that's when i'm quiet the most because i really don't want to say anything and to piss anyone off or vice versa. I don't want people to say things to me to piss me off. And we're humans, we're gonna go through the motions of emotions. <laughs> like, we're not always gonna be good. You're not always gonna have a good day. Every day will not be a good day and that is totally okay. But it just depends on how you handle that day. I guess that's what people have an issue with because sometimes when I'm in my funk, I really don't want to talk. People take that so personal. I'm like, bro, I just don't want to talk. Like, why are you so about her? Because I don't want to talk to you today. Even people in my job, like people think, like, people in my job really don't like me. <laughs> I say this all the time. And I really don't care because I don't take work with me home. But it's just like, y'all don't even know me. Like, I don't care if you like me. I mean, if you don't like me, if you don't like me, that's your problem. I'm fucking awesome. That's how I see it. You didn't take the time to know me. But that's a whole another conversation because people in my job are racist and they just don't like black women, period. Black people in general, but black women in particular. I feel like we get bashed a lot, especially in the workforce. But uh, like I said, that's another conversation for another day. Because I, I will be completely and thoroughly honest. I do have a bad temper. And this is why I don't like getting angry. Because when I get angry, I literally get belligerent. I know that about myself, so I try to avoid to even reach to that point. But I noticed that lately I've been entertaining it, and I've been reaching that point one too many times that I don't want to, you know. Because it's a really ugly side of me to be angry. I don't want anyone to experience that. How And as well as, I don't even want to be in that situation. 
because once I'm in it, I have no self-control. It's hard to get out. I don't just get over it. Um, the lifestyle that I'm trying to curate for myself, I can't be moving like that. So I'm like, whoa, Karina, look back, sit back, and think about your actions, ma'am, because this is gonna probably be bad for you in the near future. Not probably, it will, <laughs> like, if you don't fix it. So I was like, you know what? Anybody that makes me feel that way or tries to get me to that point needs to get cut off, period. And I'm also moving, not funny, I was going to say moving funny. I'm also moving, like, differently. You don't have to technically piss me off for me to cut you off. I'm just moving with intent. Like, this little phase of my life that I'm going through right now is moving with intentions. Everything I'm doing has an intention. So, if I cut you off for no apparent reason, it's because there was no intentions in there. Like... Like, literally, it was going nowhere. People try to keep you in their life just because. And there's no intentions behind it. They just, I guess, bored. And they just want to have you in their life because they know that you're a cool person. And stuff like that. Like, it's just beneficial to keep them around. But I don't want no meaning. I don't want no meaningless friendship, relationship. I don't want anything to be meaningless. Everything in my life has to have intentions it has to have a purpose it has to have meaning so that's where i'm going with that let me go ahead and do my lippy my battery about to die y'all again let me do my lippy and come back and finish this video also fix my hair but let me un unravel this thing because i look really crazy right now but i had to sleek my edges which is probably not sleek because i didn't leave this on too long but just for the sake of the video because I need to hurry up and get going. Yeah, bye. I'm not fond of buns. I thought I wanted to do the whole bun look, but I don't got earrings, so we're just gonna do the ponytail again. Leave the ponytail. We're gonna leave the ponytail look. It's giving what it's supposed to give because that bun was not it. And I know it's for the I'm actually going to wash my hair and and blow dry it again because I just received my color wow I've seen a lot of reviews good reviews on this we're gonna try it ourselves so stay tuned for that because I'm gonna let y'all know if this is literally a game changer for us curly headed girls black girls women of color with the anti-freeze I mean freeze with the anti-frizz <laughs> what <laughs> anti-frizz what are you thinking about cars and freeze the heck but um yeah i'm gonna let y'all know so stay tuned but to summarize this video i had to really sit down and, and tell myself the lifestyle that i'm creating for the future me and i'm already living it hello manifestation but the person that i am today and whom i will be tomorrow cannot afford to be entertaining these kind of situations that's not going to get me to where i need to be so with that being said karina had to snap into reality and be like you know what it's not even worth my time like y'all not worth my time <laughs> and not in a cocky way but it's just like like i said i have a goal and if i want to obtain that goal i need to move militant i need to move accordingly so no more of that entertaining negativity and, and proving a point. I'm, I was trying to prove a point. The point that I was trying to prove is that, that I, I still could go on savage mode. But you need to watch out how you handle me. And you still do. But hey, I'm always going to be willing to get into a fight over me. Like, don't get it twisted. But I'm going to choose my battles correctly. And that's it. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is my makeup look. The nudie. <laughs> and I showed y'all a video of how I did my eyelashes. I did these myself. I made like clusters. If you want to see the video, I will link it up. It will be linked up here. And I'll show you the video right here. <laughs> and while we're doing that, please go ahead and follow my social medias right here. Here, <laughs> nah, for real. But so, follow my social medias right here, and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already done so. What are you waiting for? 
I will see y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye.